welcome to Erica Vane TV, where we highlight all things entertainment. I'm your host, Sabina Pierre, and y'all know we have to touch on these Grammy wins and losses. There were some exciting first-time wins and even trailblazers that may have lost, but are absolute winners without the Grammys. I know you want to join the tribe, so hit subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay up to date on all things entertainment and get our notifications. Follow us on all of our socials at ericavane.com to stay up to date. In the best music video category, we have Brown Skin Girl, Beyonce featuring Blue Ivy, Wizkid, and St. John. Blue Ivy makes history by being the second youngest artist to ever do so at age 9, winning her first Grammy, beating out Drake, Future, Anderson Pack, Harry Styles, and Woodkid. Beyonce did lose in the best music film category for her Blackest King project, but she was absolutely the winner of the night. Beyonce ties for the most awarded female artist in Grammy history with 28 wins. Not only did she show up to the Grammys, she won four, broke a record, and got on stage to offer gracious remarks on a night when she was nominated nine times but did not perform. The Black Parade artist took home Best Music Video, Best Rap Song, and Best Performance for Savage Remix with Megan Thee Stallion, and Best R&B Performance for Black Parade. In the Best Rap Album category, we have King's Disease by Nas. Many are excited as fans celebrate his first Grammy win. He's officially a Grammy Award winner. Nas beats out D Smoke, J Electra, Freddie Gibbs and The Alchemist, and Royce 59. In the Best Traditional R&B Performance, Chloe and Hadley recorded Wonder What She Thinks of Me. They did lose to Let Us See Anything For You. And unfortunately, Chloe and Hadley did lose all their other categories, but they handled it gracefully as the queens they are. With Thundercat taking home Best Progressive R&B Album with his album It Is What It Is, beating out Janae Aiko and Chloe and Hadley. The singer is notably known for his TikTok famous hit song Funny Thing, and smooth hit with such a cute name, Dragon Ball Durag, especially the remix featuring Smino and Guap Daddy 4000. Thundercat is a talented individual that is on the rise, showcasing the beauty of individuality, especially within the black community. In the best R&B album category, John Legend took home the Grammy with his Bigger Love album, beating out Giveon and Luke James. Also, I want to take a moment to apologize to the BTS fans and the Swifties as well as the Believers. Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande took on Best Pop Duo slash Group Performance with Rain On Me, beating out BTS, Justin Bieber, Quavo, Taylor Swift, Bad Bunny, Dua Lipa, and J Balvin. In the Best Rap Performance and Rap Song, we have Savage, Megan Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce on the remix. They both beat out Pop Smoke, The Baby. Big Sean, Nipsey Hussle, Jack Harlow, Roddy Rich, Drake, Lil Durk, and Lil Baby. Winner Megan Thee Stallion absolutely got the good news. The H-Town hottie Megan Thee Stallion took home the Best New York Artist Award. She also took home three Grammys. We are very happy to see Megan win after the year she had with switching labels, being shot, losing friends, and being scrutinized and mocked in the media. Y'all have to remember that Megan is only 26 years old. Our good sis has lost both her parents and grandparents before this moment. Megan is the definition of not only a strong black woman, but she absolutely embodies the true meaning of black girl magic. Congrats, Megan. Now, if y'all are on TikTok, you might recognize this song, Rose by St. John, remixed by Emo Beck Zini Kinoff. It won the best remix recording. Billie Eilish won a Grammy for best song written for visual media for her song No Time to Die for the film No Time to Die, beating out Harriet movie lead actress Cynthia Erivo with her song Stand Up, which was the theme song for the inspiring film Harriet, also beating out songs from Frozen 2 and Cats. Kate Trinata is another notable artist that has been on the rise. He took him two Grammys with Best Dance Electronic Album for Bubba and Best Dance Recording 10% featuring Kali Uchis. Kali Uchis is another artist that's on the rise as well. She's known for collaborations with Tyler the Creator and she's someone to watch. And the Best Comedy Album category, we have Black Mitzvah by Tiffany Haddish. Haddish beat out Jerry Seinfeld and Bill Burr. She ready? Haddish absolutely was ready, and we congratulate her on this notorious win. Alex Trebek's spoken word memoir, The Answer Is, narrated by Ken Jennings, did not win a Grammy for Best Spoken Word Album. 
Remember Mr. Rogers? Well, he won a Grammy for Best Historical Album for his It's Such a Good Feeling, The Best of Mr. Rogers album. Beat out Prince and Nat King Cole. In the Best Alternative Music Album category, we have Fetch the Bolt Cutters by Fiona Apple. Fiona beat out the Slow Rush album by Tame Impala, a notable artist on the rise, and she also won Best Rock Performance for Shameka. Mickey Guyton is another notable mention. Although she did not win a Grammy for Best Country Solo Performance, she did make history by just being nominated. It's no secret that non-white women and LGBTQA plus artists have and continues to be marginalized by the country music industry. She is the first black solo female artist to earn a Grammy nomination for a song about the black experience in an exclusionary genre such as country music. She's done so without the support of country music and country radio. She also touches on being a black woman in America. Nashville continues to keep up with the history of perpetuating anti-blackness within the country industry. Guyton is someone to really watch out for. Justin Bieber wins a Grammy for Best Country Duo Slash Group Performance for being featured on Dan Plus Shay's song 10,000 Hours. Hmm, interesting for someone wanting to be considered as R&B. That was Bieber's only win for the night. In the Best Gospel Album category, we have Gospel According to PJ by PJ Morton. PJ won and beat out Kira Sheard in her self-titled album, Kira. We are so happy to watch PJ finally receive his well-earned roses. In the Best Contemporary Christian Music Album category, we have Jesus is King by Kanye West. Many folks, especially within the Christian music community, aren't too fond of the win. In his 2019 Jesus is King album featuring a Chick-fil-A reference on Closed on Sunday and calling out his father on Follow God, this project is now a Grammy winning project. Some fans say that Jesus is King has proved to be a divisive effort. Now many folks on social media were quick to let it be known that this is the same man that just a year ago posted a clip of himself urinating on one of his now 22 Grammy trophies. Sheesh. In the best reggae album category, we have Got To Be Tough by Toots and the Maytals. Toots and the Maytals beat out Skip Marley in his album, Higher Place. In the best global music album category, we have Twice As Tall by Burna Boy. Burna Boy has been receiving a lot of recognition and it's about time he earned his roses for the work he put in. Hopefully next year we can see Davido or Twia Savage win a Grammy. Her takes home a Grammy for being featured on Robert Glasper's song with Michelle and Diocello on the song Better Than I Imagine, beating out Beyonce, Tiana Major 9, Earth Gang, Chloe and Halle, and Skip Marley. Her also took home song of the year for I Can't Breathe with Tiara Thomas as a writer. And her song I Can't Breathe is a loud and clear reminder that we gotta keep that energy from summer 2020 around Black Lives Matter all year round, not just when it's trending. Overall, her took home two Grammys now holding four Grammys under her belt. For best melodic rap performance, Lockdown by Anderson Pack took home the win. Pack beat out Travis Scott, Roddy Rich, Drake, Little Dark, and Da Baby. This is Pac's fourth Grammy win with the seven nominations under his belt. Pac is also the first Korean Grammy winner with the screen descent. Pop star Dua Lipa took home the well earned award for best pop vocal album, Future Nostalgia. Lipa beat out Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, and Harry Styles. This makes it her third Grammy win. From the creativity of the project to the hit singles such as Don't Start Now, Physical, Levitating, Break My Heart, and Levitating Remix featuring The Baby, which is such a feel-good top-down track. On this project, we get to know Lipa as she touches on relatable, real-time topics from relationships and women empowerment. We look forward to watching her make her mark in the industry, as well as putting on for women, period. Harry Styles took home Best Pop Solo Performance for his catchy summer song, Watermelon Sugar. Like the plague, this song was absolutely unavoidable. Styles beating out Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift, Doja Cat, and Justin Bieber. This will be Styles' first Grammy win ever. Taylor Swift took home Album of the Year with Folklore. After such a battle with trying to gain ownership of her masters and having to re-record a majority of her records, this was such a well-deserved win. We see you, Taylor. Billie Eilish took home Record of the Year with her beautiful record, Everything I Wanted, where she lays her heart out, making it very relatable for listeners. Eilish beats out Doja Cat, Post Malone, The Baby, Roddy Rich, Black Pumas, Beyonce, and Megan Thee Stallion. In her acceptance speech, Eilish took a minute to acknowledge Megan Thee Stallion and even mentions that Megan deserves this award more than her. 
Overall, Eilish is such a talented force we all look forward to watching only being 19 years old. YHLQMDLG won Best Latin Pop or Urban Album. Rising Latin star Bad Bunny took home this well-earned award. Bunny has put in the work and there was absolutely no way for you to avoid Bunny. Bunny was also on various collaborations last year alone. Bunny is another rising star to be on the lookout for. Brittany Howard took home the best rock song, Stay High. She beat out Fiona Apple, Tame Impala, and Phoebe Bridgers. Brittany is absolutely shaking up the rock industry by storm and representing black women. The overall winners were black women. Black women from all genres swept up nominations and wins. Black Girl Magic was oozing through the night. From the performances, presenters, looks, speeches, nominations, and winners. This is a night that many young black girls will absolutely feel empowered by. From Mickey Guyton being the first black nominated female country artist, Blue Ivy being the second youngest Grammy winner at 9 years old, Beyonce tying the most awarded female and artist in Grammy history with 28 wins. Megan Thee Stallion, Her, Michelle and Deggy Ocello, Tiffany Haddish, Brittany Howard, Tiana Major 9, Lettucey, Tierra Thomas, all winning. Chloe and Halle, Doja Cat, Janae Aiko, Chica, Mahalia, Mavis Staples, Jean Baylor, Emily King, Mickey Guyton, Regina Carter, Carmen Lundy, Terry Lynn Carrington, Kira Sheard, Ruthie Foster, Betty Levette, and Cynthia Ravo all nominated. Each and every musician is special and represents the breadth of talent that black women possess. We love to see it, especially being a brand founded by a black woman, and that's on Black Girl Magic. Sound up below and tell us some of your favorite wins of the night. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications and don't miss a single episode. Hold up, you are not ready to go just yet, so watch our All-American series breakdown over here, or our Power Book 2 Ghost series breakdowns over here. I'm your host, Sabina Pierre, and I'll see you in the next video. You should have seen my potential Riding the wheels off the bandwagon